So guys, here's another little different video, just like with my range session video of me going through my range session. This is one of my short game practice sessions. So short game is routinely practiced absolutely terribly. So what we're gonna see here is how the different styles of practice that I'm going through here. So what I'm starting off with this practice session is technique work. So block practice, this could be called, where I'm going working on my technique, hitting balls from the same spot to the same target, just like you would do at the driving range. This one I got lucky with, boom, right in it. So this is what most of you do for your entire short game practice. Well, that's okay. You can work a lot on your technique, which I very much encourage. But we know when we're going out and playing on the golf course, we don't get the same lie twice. But this has its place in practice because you're only going to get better at your technique. That's a good little chunk shot off that tight lie. But you're only going to get better at your technique if you work at it. So you need to dedicate the first good section of your practice to this. What I do and what I always used to do was I would put about 15 minutes of my first bit of my practice into this. So I'd really have, let's say, five balls, and I'd normally do about five sets of those five balls working on technique. Now, if I'd really had some big technical stuff I needed to do, I might dedicate a little bit more time to it. Let's say if I had an hour's, of, like an hour's worth of short game practice, I might dedicate half of that to technique. But if it's not too bad, maybe just a quarter would be fine, or a third would be more of what's happening in this video. So you can see what I'm really working on here, I'm working on making sure I'm feeling like my club head is traveling a little bit more on the outside of my hands, having a little bit more toe up with the club as I'm going back, that's gonna encourage me to use the bounce a little bit more. I used to play pretty much through my whole playing career with a very leading edge style of pitch shot, which can be okay, but then when you get to tight lies, get to different types of lies, it's gonna be quite hard to do. So this is me really trying to expose that bounce by opening up the face, having the club head on the outside of the hands, which has really encouraged me to expose the bounce. So then I can just turn through it with a good, nice chest rotation. So this is all block practice and we're gonna see in a minute. Another very, very important style of practice. So here's the next type of practice I'm doing. Now this is landing zone practice. This tee that you can see right here, I am trying to land the ball on that tee. This is an old Tiger Woods type of drill where he will pull a tee down. I actually hit it on that on the second bouncer, so it stopped. But Tiger Woods would put a tee down and that would be his focal point for his landing zone. Pitching and chipping is all about your landing zone, landing on the correct place with the trajectory you want. That is in essence, short game. And if you can do that, if you can get it the trajectory you want and land it where you want to, you're gonna be pretty good at pitching the golf ball. So you might have seen other drills like this that people do, where they'll place a towel down on the ground. So it's the same thing, or they might have some clubs on the ground with like a specific distance between the clubs. That's great too, but I prefer it doing the Tiger Woods style with the tee because it hones your focus in even more. Aim small, miss small is the saying for it. So if you can land it pretty close to the tee, as you can see, I'd never hit it other than the first one on the second bounce, but it's landing pretty close to that tee each time, isn't it? So if you can then start to visualize that tee as you're out in the golf course, pick a spot that small, you're gonna do really, really well. So really good one for creating that mental kind of imagery out there so if you've gone and done your technique work and then you go and work on this area here working on that landing spot zone maybe going for a different few trajectories as you do it if you're getting quite good at it i would normally just do it with the one trajectory don't overcomplicate short game do what you can do if you can't hit those other little shots work on them on the technique zone here we go here's one that's going in boom only those two are made there's no more of those <laughs> so Really, really important. This gets you in the most important thing, which is landing on the landing spot. So last part of short game practice here, which everyone should do, randomized lies. So you can see, what am I doing here? I'm chucking balls about the place. So I'm chucking them and wherever they're lying, I'm hitting it from there. And I'm seeing how close I can get all these balls, all different lies. I wanna go through my routine. 
maybe play different trajectories if the shot needs it. So this is, we are simulating more golf course here. I am not a fan of simulating golf course on the driving range. I think it's absolutely useless from my experience and experience with students as well. But doing it on the short game area, putting green, very, very important here. So you can see I'm going all about the place. Got my different lies here. I think the lie might have been really bad there. So, uh, or in a hovel. I think it was in a little bear patch. So I just picked it up and dropped it into more of a suitable thing I could actually hit. <laughs> so here we go, out of the rough. Getting all these different lies. Can tell one I had to kind of like play a little bit more leading edge, bump it and roll it up. Did okay. You can see I'm walking all about the place, going to these different areas, almost off the shot there. See, so even more back. This is just like you'll be out on the golf course. You might see players out on tour do stuff like this if you've gone to watch a tournament in person. Well, sometimes the TV will be showing players in their practice sessions. I always remember watching Ricky Fowler do this type of thing, just going around the practice screen, dropping golf balls in different areas. So really, really important. You won't get the same lie twice. As you can see, now I'm more chipping off a fringe rather than out of rough, so then I've got to adapt change my type of shot type if I've got that in my bag if I've got that type of shot in my bag if I haven't got that type of shot play what you've got and practice and getting more shots into your bag in your little technique period at the beginning of your practice but you should always end your practice with this because this is really showing you how your short game is right now other than being on the golf course but more randomized this is such a good way to practice when I implemented this into my short game practice I got a lot better I got a lot lot better so use that kind of structure, however long you can do your short game practice, but divide it into those three areas and you're going to be doing pretty good. So get going at it.